What's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to go and install the spoon valve cover on the FL5. Let's do this. All right guys, so the install is actually pretty easy. I just made it harder for myself because I tried to cheat and not remove a few things and it didn't pan out. So let me show you guys what I did just to make the install so much, so much easier. Let's, uh, let's go over it first before I start the vlog. Originally when I started out, I just removed all this, of course, and then I didn't want to remove this. And I figured that I can just push it enough just to give me enough room to snake it in. But I'm telling you guys, it, it doesn't work. It's, you're gonna end up scratching everything up. And uh, so I didn't want to risk scratching the, the, the new valve cover. So what I did is, you're gonna go down here, remove this 10 mil, remove this 10 mil, unplug this plug, unplug this other plug way down here, right by the, uh, the belt. I know it's a little harder to do, but trust me, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. And then undo the 10 mil here, of course the other 10 mil here, cause you'll have access to it once this is off. Unplug it here, take this EVAP off like here and here, and then just take it right out. You'll see it in the vlog. And then after that, I didn't want to remove the uh, coolant reservoir, but you know what? Take that out, two tents, one here and one here. Remove it, move it over here, put a towel down so you don't scratch anything, just like I did. And then down here, holding this in, there's gonna be another 10 mil down here. Take that out too. And then unplug here, this one here, unplug here, undo this clip. And then there's one more clip down, it's down there, right here, right here, right here. Take that out and this whole thing will swing open and then you're pretty much in the home stretch. That way you'll be able just to drop right in. And then for this side, again, you'll see it in the video. I undid this part, this part, and then undid this part. Took this out as one unit and then unclip this and then this whole thing will move right over. Just so simple. So don't be a cheater like I, I, I it, it didn't pay off. So I just did all that and it was just smooth sailing. There you go guys, enjoy the vlog, let's get started. It looks pretty straightforward and we got a lot more room to work with than the uh, FK8. I'm gonna try to do this without removing a lot of, most of the stuff. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove the, uh, the cover here. All right, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and remove all the electrical components here. Uh, I think we're gonna go with that first.
All right. All right, that's it. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and take out the tam nails all the way around. All right guys, so the decision I made or the route that I took, I don't recommend it. If you can take the inlet pipe out, take it out, take whatever you can away from it, it's the best you can. It's, I don't recommend it, you guys, it's tough. So now that everything's out, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off all the old uh, Honda Bond here, and here and here, and I'm gonna clean it all up and go ahead and put it back in. All right, so all the Honda Bond is off. Now I'm gonna go and clean up the rest of the block, get off all the old oil residue. I'm gonna make a nice clean surface for the new valve cover. Some pretty thick, this is some pretty thick stuff, man. All right, so next up, you wanna take off the valve with the 10 mil and then transfer it over to the new valve cover. Okay, so now I'm at the point where I'm about to uh, install the new valve cover, but I'm gonna make sure the, the new gasket here is actually all seated down properly before you wanna put it in. Because the last thing you wanna do is it's all binded up and it's gonna cause a leak. So just make sure you check that. Make sure you all the rubber seals inside here are all nice and seated. Looks good. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and torque them down into uh, 62 inch pounds. All right, so that's all torqued down. I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil packs back in and we should be ready to go to put everything back in reverse order. Okay, so right down here, if you notice, see how it's all separated? You'll see it the most right here. See, it's all coming apart right there. And then this one over here. This one is okay. Down here is okay. But um, kind of a little disappointed for the amount of money that I paid. Uh, or the amount of money that you'll fork out 600 and I think 50 some, let's say 650 US. Um, I think it might not feel like that on the red one because the red one doesn't look like it's fragile like the yellow. So if you're concerned about that kind of stuff, go with the red, I think you have no issues. But that's the only thing that I, the only complaint that I have. Now that I installed the valve cover, amazing. That yellow just pops. It just totally transforms 
the engine bay. The FL5 engine bay is lacking a lot of color. So there is really no color in there. It's just all black. So giving in that yellow or whether you're going spoon yellow or the OG red, you can't go wrong. It just makes that engine bay just pop. Trust me, you guys won't regret it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now it's pretty much the centerpiece of that engine bay. If you if you want to spend 600 bucks on a yellow valve cover, go for it. But if you don't want to, I would recommend just taking your OEM one out and just spraying it and save some money. But it transforms the engine bay. Since we're on the spoon topic, you guys are probably wondering if the giveaway has been announced. So we're going to go do that right now. So the winner of the 2024 spoon collection is Fresh FL5. What a cool name, eh? Fresh Alpha 5. Congratulations, whoever you are. Please contact me on my Instagram or DM me for your details and I'll get the package right out to you guys. Congratulations again, you guys. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Lots of more giveaways in the future. Pretty sick one, I think. I have already planned in my head. So don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed to be entered into future giveaways. And we'll see you guys in next week's vlog. See ya.